Undertow on Lake Washington, an instrument platform that uses acoustics to find potentially dangerous objects on the bottom. The mission? Detect and classify unexploded underwater munitions. MUS is a multi-sensor tow body that was funded by the Department of Defense to uh, detect and classify un unexploded ordnance on the seabed. There's a number of places around the U.S. and around the world that have a lot of unexploded ordnance. Munitions left behind from military training and weapons testing litter coastal environments at hundreds of current and former Defense Department sites. The Strategic Environmental Research and Development Program and the Environmental Security Technology Certification Program are focused on developing sensors, systems, and platforms to remediate this munitions problem. Congress told them that they needed to also be able to remediate and give DOD lands back to the citizens of the United States. And to do that, they had to clean up uh, all the UXO in these shallow water areas. The Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington and APL's commercial partners are working to develop an integrated system to locate unexploded ordnance in shallow water. The uh, operational envelope that we've been given is uh, 5 meters to 40 meters depth, which is uh, equivalent to the sport scuba diving depth. On this test run, the MUST vehicle carried sonars to track dummy targets. Also on board, an inertial guidance system and a GPS unit to determine precise locations of the targets. There's two targets. They're both about two feet long, I think about six inches in diameter. Okay, approaching the target. Stand by, about 100 meters out. Ship's coming onto the target right now. Ship's right over the target now. Mark. Today we did 16 passes over it in three different directions and different heights, different offsets. Working with APL, McCartney Underwater Technology, makers of the tow body, and EdgeTech, makers of the sonar sensors on board the vehicle. So there's two different sonars. One is a pretty standard off-the-shelf side scan sonar that maps the, the surface, seafloor surface, and we can see objects that are sitting on the surface like you know, beer bottles or whatever. And then the other one is a very specialized, uh, one-of-a-kind, three-dimensional sub-bottom profiler that uses a broadband pulse to illuminate and then see these, these buried t t targets. EdgeTech's EBOS sub-bottom profiler, as the term suggests, is designed to acoustically see unexploded ordnance under the silt or mud on the bottom. Our, our whole goal is to be able to look in, inside the sediment. And there are systems that are built to look deep into the sediment, but they don't have what we would call imaging capability. So this system is set up to where you can actually image a target and be able to tell its properties. So that, to me, is very novel. The Lake Washington test hailed as a successful team effort. Electrical engineers, uh, mechanical engineers, software engineers, signal processors, they all have uh, their expertise. And, and as you can tell, they all know how to uh, cross-pollinate. Still ahead, a more complex test regime. APL's Kevin Williams predicts positive results. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, it's cool. It, it, it is an amazing instrument, right? And it's been a long time to get here, right? For many years, Williams and other APLUW scientists conducted experiments to characterize acoustic scattering from targets, to understand the effects of the seabed on target scattering, and to detect and classify buried objects in high clutter areas. We started actually in a, with a project with Panama City, Florida, which is a Navy base, where what we wanted to do was to understand just the target physics. How do UXO look in the environment? It's taken, what, 12 years now to get from what we thought was basic research on target physics to a piece of instrument that we think will be commercially viable. That's cool. Uh, my goal is actually to be able to take the whole system, put it in a 20-foot container that you put on a train, and be able to ship that system anywhere in the world. There are uh, at least hundreds of thousands of acres of material are places that you can use remediation. This is what our lab is supposed to be good at. 
We're supposed to be designed to take basic research and move it out in, into commercial application. And we've done that in the past, and hopefully we do it now. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.